Hi again, this is Kevin Zaccaro from Fluid Audio, and I just wanted to mention a little bit about the power, um, the new power modules that come inside our new FX series. I forgot to mention it in our last video, but um, so the FX80 is now a class D amplification, right? So it went from the class AB of the FX8 to class D, and the 80 has um, 60 watts to the low frequency and 50 watts to the high frequency, and that's bi-amped. Right, so um, a lot of designs out there have a single amp that drives both and goes into a passive crossover. Um, but that's, of course, not what's done on higher end products. So, so the FX80 and the FX50 are both bi-amped. The FX50 has power of 50 watts to the low frequency and 40 watts to the high frequency, bi-amped, of course. The other thing I wanted to mention that I touched on in the last video is um, how engineering endeavors are sometimes um, a trade-off or a compromise. Um, so what I was getting at there was um, coaxes have inherent trade-offs, meaning um, you're going to have some distortion that isn't, that isn't going to exist in other products. For instance, somebody came up to me at NAMM and asked me about, oh, what about intermodulation distortion um, in coax speakers? And he, they were right. I had to explain that, you know, the, what happens is as the high frequency comes off of the cone, um, the cone is moving, right? So you get um, problems coming off of the cone. But we've addressed that somewhat um, or in a, better, in a better fashion with our coax design, which has a stationary um, hard waveguide that the tweeter is mounted in. So it comes off of the, just like a faceplate on a regular stationary two-way um, speaker. You're not going to have problems until you get to the edge of the waveguide. And then, of course, it's, you're going to have a problem. But at that frequency, we're filtering out all of that problem in the crossover. Um, that's one of the benefits of having the DSP. We can, do a, we can do a super sharp slope. And in fact, we're around 36 dB per octave on the low frequency, and I forget which model, and 48 dB on one of them. So we're really cutting these um, these filters cutting off the, the the device quickly. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention about the the benefits of the FX series. They're available now from Fluid Audio. This is Kevin Zaccaro. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye for now.